The family of victim Tom Palermo fought strongly against one-time Bishop Heather Cook's release. And the judge agreed Cook needed to stay in custody for the next 10 months. WJZ investigator Mike Kelgren is live at the Mitchell Courthouse with the decision and reaction to it. Mike. Vic Palermo's family had felt all along that the sentence was too lenient and prosecutors argued that Cook remained a danger to the public. But she got up in court and apologized. She said she turned her life around and later was visibly shaken when the judge told her she'd have to stay locked up. Former high-ranking Episcopal Bishop Heather Cook will remain locked up for another 10 months after a judge denied her request for early release in the death of cyclist Tom Palermo. On Avenue. It's a hit run of a bicyclist. It was two days after Christmas in 2014 when Cook killed Palermo, a father of two, as he rode in a marked bike lane in Roland Park. She was drunk, almost three times the legal limit, and texting when she hit him. She left the scene as he lay dying. For those who have lost a loved one due to a crime and for whom their case is still unsolved, my heart is with you. This was Cook's second drunk driving arrest. In 2010 on the Eastern Shore, she was so intoxicated she rode on a shredded tire. And just before Palermo's death, she gave a sermon about being careful on the road. We won't be able to stop on a dive if driving conditions get dangerous or if an animal or God forbid a human being should step out in front of us. Cook's lawyer said his client had been wrongly accused of not showing remorse. She did apologize in court for the pain and loss she caused. We talked to her about whether we should even have a hearing or not because we knew this would be quite traumatic for her, for the family. But we wanted to set the record straight. While Judge Timothy Dory felt Cook had been rehabilitated, he said she had not been punished enough. If she served his original sentence of seven years, Cook would be out in 2022. But with credits for time served, she'll now be out by next August. Cook wept and muttered, I can't do it, as officers led her out of the courtroom in shackles. We advocate for the damned, and that's our job. And we make no apology for that. And a number of members of the Episcopal Church showed up here in court and also wrote letters in support of Cook. And that includes the woman who replaced her as the Episcopal Church's number two leader in Maryland. Live at the Mitchell Courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ.